King Diamond, the Puppet Master. Here we have a King Diamond album that deserves just as many listens as Voodoo and the albums before it. Cleverly done, full of spirit, and gets a lot of things done right where some King Diamond albums have failed. The album intro sounds diabolical, and guess what? It's in the form of a song instead of creeping sounds and synths and interludes. Let the show begin. Right from the beginning of the title track, you can already tell that this album's production is miles better than House of God, Spire's Lullaby, and The Graveyard. King Diamond's albums have often had the misfortune of sounding too quiet, too dry, too flat, or underwhelming. However, this album's production is very vibrant. The guitars have a nice fuzzy tone that isn't too distorted, the bass is audible, King's vocals are high enough in the mix, and the drums sound powerful. It's relatively layered. As for the title track itself, it has everything that makes for a classic King Diamond song. Tempo changes, alternating vocals, a couple of brilliant guitar solos, and the feeling of being in a demonic musical. The song Magic comes next. The keyboards come in strong and add plenty of creeping atmosphere. I'm really loving the harmonized vocals on this album, but this song has a lot of power and emotion to it. I would put this song right next to Welcome Home and Give Me Your Soul at any point. There are also female vocals on this track. Yep, these female vocals on the album are done for the female characters in the story. And guess who's singing them? King Diamond's real life. She's a very talented singer. She does a great job on the vocals for the entire album. Could you imagine King Diamond proposing to his wife, though? Honey, I have something to ask you! Emerencia captures the sadness and darkness that plagues the album. Oh yeah, The Puppet Master is a really dark and scary and violent album! The music is scary, but the story is also one of the scariest stories that King Diamond has ever told. In fact, this one racks up there with voodoo. You have so many different voices, guitars, sound effects, and sections all in one song. It seems to be more complexly written and executed than a lot of his other albums. No More Me is relatively shocking. It has lyrics about the puppet master pulling King Diamond's eyes out. Yeah, I'll get to the story in a little bit. But you also have some really desperate sounding keyboards and hard guitars. The tempo is slow enough to allow this thing to hit harder. Imagine your eyes being torn out with a scalpel. Darkness starts off like a Tool song. Just listen to that flange effect on that guitar. So sad, it's a ballad. God, this guy knows how to rip your heart out! The title just says it really nicely, just expect some tear jerking. But in all seriousness, it's pretty dynamic and it's written really well. And the voice acting for the song is really well done. Christmas! I'm loving the guitar tone on this song. Very creeping. Instead of the no presents for Christmas brutality, there's sentimentality. It's the most climactic part of the album, certainly one of the album's highlights. Also, at this point in the story, it's just really heartbreaking to listen to. Andy LaRoque kills on his lead guitars and solos once more with this album. He puts a lot of thought into what he's going to play, but his riffs flow nicely into each other, rather melodic and seamless. Also, King's vocals are less operatic and high-pitched and more mid-range. He uses his voice more as an effort to accentuate the importance of what goes on in the story. The band definitely used their opportunities to make the music and story go hand-in-hand -hand with each other on this album. I enjoy all of King Diamond's albums. Not only will I say that this is his best one since The Eye, but I'd say that this is one of his better albums in general. With the few albums that came before The Puppet Master, they weren't quite as catchy or full of emotion. I mentioned that some were underproduced, Abigail 2 was a step in the right direction, and the songs were generally better and more complex, but I just never really got invested into the Abigail story like I did on the other albums. So the sequel to Abigail just didn't do a whole lot for me. However, Puppet Master seems like it has one-upped all of those albums in every way. Plus the concept is really cool, it's a love story that turned into a horror story. King meets a woman. They go to a puppet show together, she goes again by herself and becomes missing, he goes to search for her, and then he gets captured by the puppeteer, and it gets turned into a puppet with surgical tools. What I would like to finish about this album is that it shows the crazier side of King Diamond, and it shouldn't be ignored. If you enjoy them and Conspiracy, then you will love this album.